Hello. I thought I might uh, give you a ride in my airplane, or at least a virtual ride in it. Yeah, it's dark here in the garage. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is that, well, I'll show you. Anyway, let's get the canopy open here. If I can do this without dropping something. There we go. All right. Now I gotta climb in. Okay. So uh, turn some lighting on here and uh, climb into the airplane here from the side. I put a step stool, kitchen stool, mm -hmm. next to the to the plane. The nose gear does retract, but it's just easier to climb on a stool and crawl in that way. I've got the lighting turned down as dim as it'll go because the uh, camera is very sensitive to light. Uh, I'll show you. I mean, it gets real bright in here. I normally leave it like that so that all I've got to do is reach in and touch that red button right there and that turns the power on. While I've got the lights on, I'll show you what we've got here. Got joysticks on both sides to uh, control the roll of the plane. And if you move them fore and aft, they're not connected so it squeaks because the push rod rubs over there. Anyway, that makes the nose go up and down. And I can... Uh, if I wanted to go flying at night, I could switch it over to red lighting so the red doesn't uh, cause you to lose your, your night vision. But uh, normally it's turned way down. And I can turn it off and control just the brightness of, of my uh, panel lights, for instance. Yeah. Oh, I know why it's not doing the other ones. Because I don't have the key on. I think. Yep, that's why. Anyway, get the displays going here. I'm going to turn very low lighting on here and we'll see if that works out all right. So I've got identical displays left and right, but I can set them up to do different functions. Takes a moment to boot up. They're just a little computer like everything else. And I've taped over the uh, ambient light sensors so they're real dim. Let me look and see if they're showing up. No, they're not. Well, darn. I turned them down too far. Uh, let's see if I turn that off. Does that help? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Cooey. All right. I taped over the ambient light sensor so that it won't uh, turn the screen brightness up too high. I'll try uncovering it a little bit and see what happens. Doesn't look too promising. All right, we'll take it off completely. Oh, well, they're starting to come up. I'll be darned. It's using one sensor. Can't get the tape off. Oh, because I'm picking at the wrong spot. Let's take the other sensor off, see what it does. Oh, the cover off the other sensor. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, oh well. It's probably about as good as we're going to get it. Anyway, the uh, left display is showing... Uh, this is uh, airspeed. These are a scrolling scale shows airspeed and it also gives a digital indication in the center. 
uh, on the right is altitude and vertical speed, how fast you're going up and down. And then you've got a, a compass kind of thing here. It's a heading indicator. And then a turn and bank indicator. It kind of lets you know if the wings are level or if the nose is too high or something like that. And uh, and over here, I've got a, a map that moves. It shows what's underneath the airplane so that you can keep track of where you are over the ground and in relation to obstructions like towers and other airplanes and shows you where airports are and things like that. And it's all a touch screen display so you can you can drag it around and uh, get all kinds of information about airports and things like that. And uh, it talks to me through the headphones. If it has any cautions or warnings, it, it tells me about it. I can uh, swap the display from one side to the other, just like that. And that can be done from either side. I can, for instance, I can go over here and say swap it and it'll put it back the way it was. Or I could have just done it from over on the left side. Uh, can do split screen displays. For instance, I want to put the map on over here. So now I've got a map on the right side and the flight controls on the left and then I can go over here and say I want to see the uh, engine controls and uh, so then I've got all the engine monitoring stuff over there and let's see what else there's a compass here in the center magnetic floating bubble compass uh, down the center here is uh, controls for the nose gear and a retractable nose gear and for uh, speed brake. It's a panel that swings down and into the uh, wind stream and adds a lot of drag so the plane slows down quicker at airports. So uh, there's all kinds of fun stuff here. Let's see. I can put the engine information on the bottom band. So I've got all three things here. Now I've got this, all that information is now over here on the bottom. Um, so you can, if you just have one display, you can have all kinds of stuff. Turn that off. Go back to primary flight display over here. And we'll go full screen. There. All kinds of fun stuff. There's an autopilot over here on the left side. These are controls for the autopilot. Uh, radio here in the center and an intercom volume and squelch in the center also just to the right of the radio. And that's pretty much it. Turn the lights on here again. Turn them up a little bit. So Okay, we've got throttle down here. It's like a gas pedal. That's idle and that's wide open throttle. And uh, nose gear control again and the air brake, landing brake here. These are trim levers for pitch trim and roll trim. And that's pretty much it. So I'll turn the lights all the way up. Um, I think I'll turn off the electronics here. It says powering down in 29, 28, 27. Same thing over here. I can tell it to stay on. It'll stay on its internal battery. Or I can just power off. Like that. So at this point, everything is off except the master power. Uh, that's a contactor on the back. It just connects the plane to the, you know, the battery and alternator and that sort of thing. Uh, I've got some jacks over here, USB ports for charging iPads and cell phones and things like that. And let's see, uh, key switch and some other stuff over here on the left edge. I don't know if you can even see that, but anyway, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for flying with me.
ไปเยสอิทส์มี